conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f*** up. Uh, MMA news. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Porio. Porio? Porio. Porio. <laughs> What's up, bro? Uh, very close to being finalized. Madison Square Garden, UFC 281. Is that what done or is it just they're working on it? How many you got any details? You put it in the notes. I did see it floating around, doing the rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, so Ariel Hawani reported mm -hmm. that the fight is very, uh huh. Uh, Ariel mm -hmm. Hawani okay. reported the fight is very, very close to being done. Brett Akamoto chimed in and said that there is uh, no date finalized yet. They are looking at both November and December. Apparently, uh, Poirier is ready to go right now. Chandler would prefer a December date, but uh, all, all signs point to them pushing to do it at Madison Square Garden in November. Ariel Helwani spoiling the fucking news again because my sources, you know, I heard about this, but I thought I can't talk about it. Do you know what I mean? But if, mm -hmm. if the, let the UFC announce it when they want to announce it, but good old Ariel can't help himself. <laughs> Got to get on Twitter. Love Ariel, by the way. Shout out. Hope you well, bud. Uh, what do you think? I love that fight. I think it's the right fight for both guys. Uh, like in the rankings and kind of where they're at as far as the, the fans that's the one of the most fan appealing fights oh. i think you can get um you know to be honest i don't know i i could give you all the breaking analysis and we could break it down skill set for skill set but to be fair at this at this level of their division where both these guys are neither one of them have been super consistent so the only thing that's consistent is their likability and their excitement like you know you're going to get a fantastic fight you know you like both guys. You know it's going to be a barn burner, but like, you know, Chandler, you know, if there for a little bit, a little bit was having some trouble with his chin. He was taking damage. He was getting hurt. And, you know, he was looking good, but then he would take a hard shot. But then he goes in with Gaethje, gets hurt early, and then just gets his head beat on like a speed bag and just takes them all. So, yeah, but what a fight know, that was, though. What oh a fucking God. Oh, was one of the best fights I've ever seen. But even, and then Poirier. You know, like we all considered him the uncrowned champion and, and, you know, he should go in there and he's got every skill set in the world to beat Oliveira and then he looks great. But then, you know, Oliveira gets to his spots. And so it's, they just haven't been the most, I don't think we've seen the best version of either one of those guys recently. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. And I don't mean that as a knock. I don't mean no, that no, as a no, knock. No, they no, just, no, they no, just no, had a tough, course. they've had a tough couple fights. So yeah, um, I, I'm excited for that. I, I think that's the right fight for both guys. Yeah, and as you said, what a fun fight that will be. They always deliver, yeah. you know, because as you say, Chandler, fuck me, man. I mean, that fight with Tony Ferguson, I mean, again, got dropped, mm -hmm. you know, got, got he got dropped, I right? Did he get dropped? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Early, yeah, yeah. yeah. He got dropped early, then he landed a big takedown, and then he knocked And him. maybe knock out of the goddamn year. Oh, knocked him the <sighs> fuck out. What a shot. You seen that, that picture fight. of Tony's face? Yeah, yeah. Where it's, it's all squished and... Oh, hmm. yeah, yeah. No, but they said he looked like a chicken nugget. He kind of did. No offense, Tony Ferguson. Hope you well, buddy. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Do you think that's because Chandler is? Oh no, he, he fought for the belt. Did he fight for the vacant title? He did. He did. Oh, that's right. He did. He fought Charles Oliveira. What am I saying? Yep. That's when Charles became the champ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you Do you think either a man gets a title shot on the back of this? The winner of Islam versus Oliveira. I think it's performance based. It definitely puts them close. It definitely puts them yeah. close. Um, we still got Darius floating around out there that that I that I'm, no, no, no. I refuse to let anybody forget about. No, um, no, no. absolutely. Uh, my wife just came in here. I feel like she's about to punch me in the face. She should. What do. happened? She should do. Oh, look at this shit! You came home without a wind bonus. She deserved no, a punch. <laughs> Michael said I came home without a wind bonus. I deserved to be punched. <laughs> look at this shit. This is this is what. She, this is how much she loves me. She got me these fucking cushions for my crutches. Oh, look nice. at that fancy ass! I mean, shit. come on, come on! Come He's giving on. all this manliness well, she, shit. Well, she came, she came in here all, all hot and heavy, and like in a rush, thought she was gonna punch me in the back of the head. That um, is the problem. With and she got a goddamn yeah. bath seat to put in my shower. Nice. I mean, how fucking old? I'm not using that shit. I'm gonna <laughs> no. I'm gonna lean up against the wall and I'm gonna cry in the shower like everyone else does. 